Now, <laughs> hi everybody. Now I'm gonna go on Facebook Live just to kind of get that Ooh. rolling. Got a few people. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Mark. Hi, guys. Hi, Ray. We are just about to. Okay, so. okay. Heading, heading that direction go. right now. Okay. I believe we are live, sir. Okay, well, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, joining on the webinar and joining on Facebook Live. Um, and so I'm Blake Cabot. I am the owner of Clown Antics, and I've got today, we are always pleased to have, Balloon Josh, the Hi. legend. <laughs> I don't and, know that. Well, yeah, you kind of are. And, um, and so welcome, everybody. So hi, Lynn. Lynn says hi. Um, hi. You kind of frightened me. <laughs> Ray was frightened because it's, it's 9 a.m. there, and he, he didn't realize that he would forgot he'd signed in. And all of a sudden, faces start appearing on... Uh, <laughs> on his computer. On his computer, which is a little odd. This is the um, CIA. You've been tracked. You have been tracked. <laughs> okay. Uh, so with that further ado, so we're doing uh, a couple things today. We're doing a bunch of superheroes. Yes. That, that Josh has handcrafted. And, um, and if you guys have any questions, please ask them and I will relay them to uh, Josh. And um, Diane Snyder says, hi, Josh. Hi. Uh, and um, and we are, uh, I think, without further ado, let's start. Woo okay, so um, the goal today is we're going to work through some different superhero designs. We're going to start with the, what I consider to be the easiest, most basic one, and then move to uh, more advanced, more time-consuming. Uh, but again, the goal of all of these that I'm going to be teaching today is for them to be line work, right? The goal of all of these is not to be sculpture pieces. Um, I'm not teaching those today. Um, you know, if you want to learn how to make a four foot tall Spider-Man, you know, that you'd pre-make that would take an hour, you could bring to an event, I can teach you how to do that. But this is not what we're going to be doing today. Today, we're going to be more talking about, you got a line of, you know, 50 to 100 kids, right? You're trying to get through as many as you possibly can. And they're asking for things like Black Panther, Spider-Man, Superman, Flash. And you don't want to say no, that's what this is for, right? To teach you how to make fast line work, easily recognizable superheroes. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. So um, the first design we're going to use um, is my generic design that I use for any um, humanoid figure, right? Like any, any basic body. I use this for ninjas, aliens, my basic superhero design. 
and this is what it is, okay? I like this one. It's fast, it's easy. It requires two balloons, three if you include a headpiece. Now you don't have to use a head, but you can see as I did with um, this Silver Surfer, the Silver Surfer is just two balloons for the body and the head, and then I use one for a surfboard, right? But again, same design as this. All I did was before I did the two arms, I just added an extra loop twist, right? So, um, but the goal of this design is that it's, you know, we can clank up, this would be my line work Black Panther. Um, they do make Black Panther print heads. They look okay. The problem is that you can't buy just the Black Panther print heads by themselves. You have to buy them with the, it comes with like Black Panther, uh, Black Widow, um, the Wasp, and Ant-Man, right? So you're pretty much not going to use any of the rest of those. And I don't like buying an entire pack of superhero faces when I'm not going to use three-fourths of them, right? So I use the ninja faces, and then I just draw some details to make it look like Black Panther. So this would be like my line work Black Panther, same design. You have a line work, whoop, Exorcist Spider-Man right there. You have a line work Spider-Man. We're going to go through all these. Same design, we have a line work Silver Surfer. Um, same design, we have a line work Iron Man. I was out of Iron Man heads. The Iron Man faces look okay, uh, so I drew one. I'm not the best artist, but it works, right? Iron Man face. And then we have, again, basically the same design, but we have our Batman um, design with the cape, and so we're gonna show how to do that cape and add that on. And then a small variation is we have like Flash, um, which he, any character that has like the half mask, like a Green Lantern or Captain America or Batman, where like their mouth is visible, um, the uh, basic one like this with the round doesn't look good. So you need to have, so this is my alternative for that. Um, so anyway, with that being said, uh, let's just get started. So first one we're gonna do, we'll do a Spider-Man, cause I don't know about you guys, but that's the most popular one I get asked to make. Hands down above everything else, uh, Spider-Man is number one for boys. Uh, unicorns are number one for girls. So Harry says, hey, Josh, um, Flash can be, be PJ Masks, can also be PJ Masks. Yeah, no, that is also how I do, yeah, the Splash design is also how I do uh, my PJ Masks characters as well, correct. So for this one, we're going to do Spider-Man first, okay? We're going to use a red one and a blue one. And we're not going to use the whole thing, but you want to leave it, if you can tell, just a little bit about a, like a hand's width. Let me see if I can do it this way. A hand's width or my hand's width. So you need to borrow my hand and measure. Um, but we're talking about four inches, right? A hand's width-ish for four inches. Again, this doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be specific. Um, uh, you'll have to be a little bit more exact if you're using uh, uh, Gemar balloons because they tend to be a little bit shorter um, than Qualitex or Batalitex. So of, of the three, uh, Batalitex is the longest, then Qualitex, and then Gemar. So uh, I found all of them have their different uh, pluses and minuses, depending on what you're looking for. Um, but the ones I'm using, just, just so you guys know, are the ones I'm using for this video today are Batalitex balloons. So if you're noticing, man, I left the same gap that he did, and I wasn't able to do everything he did. Well, that's because if I'm using Batalitex and you're using Gemma or Qualitex, your balloons are slightly shorter. Not a lot, but just like an inch or so. But for this design, that can make a big difference. So don't get discouraged. Um, it just means you have to be a little more precise with your um, measurements, if that makes sense. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started. So you have two balloons inflated with roughly four inches or a hands width uninflated at the end. You're gonna start, this is gonna be the foot. You wanna do this about an inch and a half bubble, okay? Followed by about a half inch bubble, okay? Don't make this too small. Okay, you're gonna fold it over like this, pinch it, and twist it. So you should get like that, right? And if it doesn't look like that, now's the time to fix it, right? If your pinch twist looks too small or your pinch twist looks too big and it does not look like that size, now is the time to undo it, redo it, because this design is all pinch twists. So if your pinch twists are off, um, if that's something you struggle with is doing pinch twists, um, I would encourage you to just sit there at home and just practice doing a row of pinch twists, right? So then we're gonna do a three finger bubble or about two inches. This is gonna be for his shin. And then we're gonna do another half inch bubble. 
You're gonna fold it over, pinch it, twist it. Okay, so there you have this foot, ankle, shin, knee. Now you're gonna do a quad. This one's gonna be just a little bit longer than his foot, but shorter than his shin, okay? Ideally, if you want it to look proportional, okay? Then what I do is I pinch it. The way I'm doing my pinch twist, that helps pinch it and then twist it. And I twist it like three or four times. If you just twist it once, sometimes when you go to do the pinch twist, it gets, the air can squeeze out and gets smaller as you pinch it. So you should be able to feel it now and the air is not going anywhere. It's, it's a good twist on both ends, right? So then you fold it over, pinch it, twist it. Okay, so there's one leg. Now we do the other one, okay? So again, about an inch and a half bubble. You pinch it, twist it, followed by a half inch bubble. Fold it over, pinch, twist, okay? And if you can do a pinch twist, you've got this because that's all we're doing over and over and over again, at least for this first design. So then again, you want about, about two inches here, okay? Actually, I think that's a little too short. There we go. Followed by half inch bubble. I'm going to fold it over. Pinch, split. Hi, Denise. And then again, this one should be longer, ideally, than the foot, but shorter than the shin. Okay, and then smaller bubble. Fold it over, pinch. Oh, see, I didn't twist that one enough, so when I went to do pinch twist, it went away, right? So if that happens, if you find it happens to you on a routine basis, it just means you're not twisting them enough before you do pinch and twist, okay? So there we have our two legs. One leg and two legs, okay? So if you can do, you're gonna put these together. With the front hand, you're gonna hold it like this, okay? With the back hand, you're gonna do, there's one of two ways to do it, I'm gonna show you both of them. Just, I find what's easier for me is to just take the two butt cheeks, right? You're holding with the front hand. Take the two butt cheeks and you just do a full 180 rotation all the way around, okay? And that will lock it together, okay? So that's one way to do it. Some people I found have difficulty with that, um, especially if your fingers aren't used to it. And uh, one question it. came in. Um, uh, uh, William asked, is this Spider-Man that you're making by any chance? Yes, this is a line work Spider-Man. Okay. It's going to look like this when we are done. Again, this is not a Spider-Man that's designed for a sculpture piece or a pre-made thing. This is more designed for a restaurant work, festival, line work, something when you're trying to crank out as many as possible, but still want something that's easily recognizable as a decent Spider-Man. So mm -hmm. I prefer this as opposed to the one that just has like the loop for the body that makes mm -hmm. Spider-Man look all bow-legged. Um, this is, I like this, it looks like athletic, right? Because Because of the joints, it makes them look muscular. So mm -hmm. that's why I like this particularly for the superhero design. Now, another so, question came in from Ray. Um, uh, she saw that you were uh, credited with spinning carousel design. Could you point yes. um, in the right direction to be able to purchase that design, please? Um, I do not have that uh, design on tutorial for purchase yet. Um, what I do have is um, I'm an instructor for a group called the Illuminati. And so you can go on there and that's where it is right now, it's in that group. Um, they have a tutorial I did on moving balloons. So I did a moving ballerina, uh, carousel, Ferris wheel. Um, I just did a helicopter with a moving propeller. Um, so yeah, I just did a whole video on different balloons that move, because I like making balloons that do stuff and don't just sit there. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so that's the only way to get that right now. Although um, I would say, uh, follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram. Um, because I'm going to be doing more stuff and follow clown, clown antics because I'm going to be doing more videos on clown antics and it's very likely that that will be one of the upcoming videos. So that would be the best advice I can give you right now. Um, there's not a like a go purchase right now this moment, but uh, send me a link and maybe we can do like a private video chat and I can um, I just set, sh sh shoot me a message on Facebook and I can do a private video chat um, online and show you how to do um, the basic moving designs if that helps. Great. Okay, so back to Spider-Man's butt. Okay, so we just did 180 twist. So you can do it that way. Sometimes people find out that if uh, they're not used to it, sometimes doing that twist with the two pinch twists 
these pop, right? Some of you might have already had these pop. So I'm gonna untwist them just to show you another option, okay? So I find that twisting those together holds, holds the base together better. However, if you're finding difficulty and whenever you're trying to, after you have your two legs and you put them together, oh, and again, it is key to make sure that the, the two butt cheeks are vertical, not horizontal, because if they're like this, that's gonna be real difficult to twist together, right? So you want them to be like that, so you can twist them together, okay? But an alternative to twisting those together is, you can hold it from the bottom and you can just twist these two together, like this, okay? So this tends to be easier, and it doesn't pop as easy. So you might be saying, well, then why not only teach that way? Well, I have found that if you do it that way, if the kids shake it around a lot, it, it's more likely to come undone. So it's just, it's your call. It's easier this way, the way I just did it, it's less likely to pop, but because of that, if the kids are shaking it, it, it also tends to come undone a little bit easier. Not a lot, but a little bit easier than by twisting those two bubbles together. But you can do whichever one works for you. You can twist these two bubbles together, or you can twist these two top pieces together, okay? So after you, however you choose to do it, you have your two legs, that's together, this together. You come up a little bit over a hand's width, okay? So the distance should be longer than this, okay? but shorter than this distance, right? Shorter than the distance from here to here, but longer than the distance from here to here, right? So, so just kind of eyeball it. But normally I do, I just think about a hand and a half or about five inches, if that makes sense, okay? So after you do that, now you have his body, this is gonna be his torso, okay? Now you have two options. If you're doing the silver surfer, okay? like this, or if you ran out of Spider-Man heads, okay, you could do a loop twist here, okay? So you could do a loop twist, just like that, okay? And then make your arm, okay? So that would be one way to do a loop twist, make your arm, make the other arm. But I actually like the way the Spider-Man heads look, so I'm gonna use that. So again, you just do a bubble, the smaller bubble, it's gonna be an elbow, pinch, twist. Okay, same thing on the other side. Bubble, smaller bubble, hold it over, pinch, twist. Okay, so we got two elbows, like this, right? Now you're gonna come down and you can do this one of two ways. I'm gonna show you both, okay? Whichever one's, I find one's faster, but I also find it's a little bit more difficult. So, first I'm gonna show you the easier way, okay? Is you do a pinch twist. Okay, followed immediately by another pinch twist. Okay, so you're gonna have two pinch twists back to back. And you break off the extra. So the way I found to break it off, kind of like I talked about last week, you wanna get it flat and wide, and then just push it out, out and away, right? This is how I do it. Now, you, I will say, you need to be careful at events because if someone's standing too close, I have gone like this and almost like punched someone in the face I'm ripping the balloon and they like invade my personal space. So just be aware if you're going to be ripping balloons like that, be aware of where people are because you don't want to like rip a balloon and accidentally, because you got to do it with some force, right? So you don't want to accidentally like knock someone in the head. Okay. So that's one way to do it where you do the two pinch twists, break off the extra. The other way to do it is you're just going to do one pinch twist. Okay. So you do a bubble first. This is like his forearm. Okay, then you're gonna fold this over, pinch twist, just like a normal pinch twist, right? But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a split twist, or I've heard it called thumb roll, I've heard it called a couple of things. Um, I think the most common one I've heard is split twist. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this uh, pinch twist, you're gonna roll it so that if you can see like the knot there at the base of this pinch twist, as you roll it, it's gonna split it in half, so this turns into two. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this so you can see, so like this, Okay, and you roll it like that. So here's two, and then you can pop off the extra. Now again, I find that to be faster out of that. So just quick, one pinch twist, splits and split, break off the extra, okay? However, if, you, if you're starting out, this also tends to be a little bit more difficult. Um, you need to train your fingers to do it right, okay? When I first started, my 
my fingers were getting in the way. I was popping it, okay? So then you have this. Little Spider-Man face. Whoop. Okay? And then you're going to attach it right there where his arms are. Push it around a couple times. You don't want to start falling off. Now what I like to do, I make sure I switch the sides so that whatever side his blue leg is on, his blue arm is on the opposite side. Because I just particularly, I don't like the look of this, where it's like, see, half is blue, half red. I don't think that looks as good. Whereas if you flip it, and you split it, I just think that has like a better, a better look. Now again, mm -hmm. this is not designed to be a sculpture piece. Oh, and I'll show you what I did with the arms. So the arms naturally are going to want to sit up like that. You kind of spread apart the middle, and then you wedge the arms kind of just down in there a little bit. So just kind of spread this out and wedge this down in there. And then the just the friction, the pressure from the balloons themselves will kind of hold those arms down rather than being up, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then what I'll do is I'll draw the spider. And for the spider, what I just do, I do a diamond colored in, followed by an elongated diamond, color that in. And then I just go, it kind of looks like a necktie. <laughs> and then I go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that would be, again, a line work Spider-Man. This would not be something I would do for, um, you know, if I was doing a sculpture piece or, or, or a table center piece, and I really want to impress people, I'd, I'd do something a lot more detailed. I'd give Spider-Man a six pack. I'd draw like, a on his arms and stuff. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm not going to do that if I'm, you know, doing a line of people like i mean like this particular superhero design that i'm teaching you right now um is a design that i created when i was working at disney world and i have a five hour long line if you have a five hour long line at disney world you don't have time to spend you know, you know four minutes five minutes per balloon you got to crank them out quick so this would be so with this one i'm just wrapping a balloon around i'm going to give them some web just to show you another, an optional add-on okay just wrap it around your fingers and then blow it up Okay, just kind of give it a nice little. But sometimes, you know, if I have the extra time, but I don't, let's say I have enough time to do a little bit of add on, but I don't have enough time to do the full blown, um, you know, detailed Spider Man, sometimes I'll just do this and just give Spider Man a little web, and the kids love it and they'll go, ah! Okay, but again, that would be our quick line work Spider Man. Okay, but I still think again, it's easily recognizable Spider Man, but it's quick, it's fast. Um, yeah, so there you go. There you go. Um, a couple of announcements on uh, Clown Annex. Um, one is that uh, right now we've got a 15% off uh, Halloween blowout. Um, and uh, that goes expires on October 19th. So if you want to load up on balloon supplies and the like, um, here is the link for the code and all that stuff. And um, the other thing is we're also having a giveaway. So um, we have a monthly giveaway on Clown Annex for clown products like balloons. And if you guys are interested in that, tough. that is always a where we would love to hear from you. And here it is. It's a weekly giveaway. It's weekly. My God. Every week we have a winner. Can't go wrong. Yeah, exactly. Okay, thanks. So we learned that Spider-Man design. I'm not going to teach the Black Panther design because, um, if you notice, it is identical. It is completely identical to what we just did for the Spider-Man design. All I did is I used black. So again, I'm not going to go through every single superhero because we would be here for a while. Um, but I will say that I've been able to use this design and some of the ones I'm going to teach you in a second to create literally every superhero from Spider-Man, all of the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, um, all of the Justice League. Um, I mean, I, was, I grew up loving comic books. So, I mean, I've been, I would just sit down in front of my comics and be like, okay, you know, how, how can I make these characters? And one thing I encourage you to do as artists is if you're gonna be making superheroes, do your research, right? It, it, it's helpful to look at what this character looks like, right? I see a lot of people making things that I think they think looks like a superhero. And I'm like, that's not at all what that superhero looks like. Why are you, why are you making it like that? 
You right. Know? So again, just stay true to your source material, right? Know, know what you're doing. And again, we live in the wonderful age of Google where you can literally, if you don't know what a superhero looks like, you pull out your phone, Google it, and you're like, ah, I got it. So I'm not going to teach like Black Panther, but I will show you just the key parts to remember if you're drawing his face. Again, you, there's nothing wrong with using the Black Panther print head. I actually like that one. It looks pretty good. Um, but if, again, I don't like the fact that I have to buy it with all the other ones that I have to throw away. Um, but again, the key to remember, he's got the lines on top of his head. He's draw the little ears um, for Black Panther, the whiskers on the side. He has this kind of like mouth thing that goes in. And then don't forget the necklace that really, you know, where his suit comes from. But if you include those factors, oh, and you can give them claws, right? But just the little details like that can take something and, you know, this is my line with Black Panther and people are excited about it and like it. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, so I will show you slightly different. I'll use my Black Panther actually to show you this. So this is my Batman. Again, exact same design as what we did for Spider-Man and what I would do for Black Panther. Um, the only difference, again, draw the bat. Um, again, it pays to also, again, look at how the Batman design, the Batman logo is designed. Look at, you know, how it's shaped. Try and get it as accurate as possible um, within reason. Um, but yeah, I will say I only like the black Batman heads. I don't like the blue ones. I don't think, I don't like them. Um, but I will show you how I do the cape. Cape's really easy. So I'm going to use a 160. And you just blow it up. And again, like I said, this is really easy. All I'm going to do. Harry says that the head looks like a lo Black Panther and Ninja line work. What? Harry said it looked like a Black Panther and Ninja line work. Ha ha. Right. Yeah. No, again, again, if I have the time and I'm doing like a pre-made thing and I have the time to like make Black Panther with all of his, you know, muscles and giving me even little claw, like I'll make a, you know, I mean, I could make like a three foot tall Black Panther. But realistically speaking, most people aren't going to pay me for a three foot tall Black Panther, right? Most people are wanting you know, quick things, right? Most people aren't gonna sit there and wait for, you know, half an hour to an hour for a more advanced thing. So that's where, you know, I wanted to come up with, I didn't want to just sell them well. If you have half an hour, I can make you Black Panther. Um, but all I do is two loop twists. And then there's a little bit extra. I'm just gonna squeeze. Okay, squeeze this just to loosen it up a little bit. Okay. And then you're just gonna tie it. So I left about three inches uninflated. So all you're doing is you get this big thing. It looks kind of like a fish, right? Mm -hmm. So get a fish, right? Then what you're gonna do is go to the bottom of it and you wanna try and make it more, less like a fish, more like a rectangle. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to stick my hands on so you can see, I'm just gonna squeeze the air out of these so I get these points, right? So it's more less like a fish and not more like a giant triangle, right? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it in the middle like this, squeeze it, so it looks like our cape is flowing in the wind. Okay, then all you do, you take that, you wrap the head around it, Okay, and there you go. Now you got Black Panther with a cape, right? Same thing we do for Batman. Again, just add a little cape, okay? But that's just how I would do it. Again, I wouldn't normally add a cape on Black Panther, but just wanted to show you um, how to add a cape onto anything, okay? So we got that design. Same thing. I'm not really going to show you the Silver Surfer because it's identical to the ones we just worked on. Same body design. All I did was instead of doing um the head right the head instead mm -hmm. of doing the head all i did was before i did the arm i just added an extra loop twist okay so this loop twist is the same balloon as the arm i just did a loop twist then i made the arm right so i'm not going to show you that design because i don't want to waste our time on that when we can learn a new one okay so with, ah! <laughs> i don't know stuff popping what the hey Oh, that was my Spider-Man just made. Woo! His, his web broke, which, again, that's not a problem because that still looks pretty cool, too. He's got, like, a spider web. Woo! Okay, so anyway, uh, then we also had Iron Man. Again, same design. You can use the Iron Man print head. You can draw a face, uh, but I, I love using the gold. Or you can use the yellow if you don't, you know, use the chrome. Um, the yellow and red look works as well. But anyway, you got Iron Man. Okay, so now we talked about Iron Man, Spider-Man. We talked about this basic, you know, my generic superhero design. Okay, now we're just going to move on from that slightly um, to this design, um, which as Harry already pointed out, could be a PJ Masks. Um, I also use this for Flash. I use this for Captain America. Um, I, I sometimes use this for Batman. I use it for any superhero. Um, 
where their mask does not cover their face, right? Where they only have the mask that comes down to like here and covers their eyes, but their mouth is still um, open, right? So um, for those designs, you know, I will say, please just, it just, oh, there's nothing irks me more when I see people using the like, the little character heads of like Thor or the little character heads of Captain America. They just, look, they look so bad, like for real, or the little character heads of like, Cinderella, like all of those faces, they just look so bad. They look so terrible. Um, they really do. Don't use them, please. Like come up with a way to draw them or, or something, but do not use, uh, again, there's a couple that look okay. Batman looks okay. The Black Panther one looks okay. Darth Vader, Spider-Man. But the ones where it's like actually like Captain America's whole head drawn on it, it looks really terrible. Thor, um, all those look really, really bad. Anything where the mask doesn't cover their whole face tends to look really, really cheesy. So we're gonna do Flash right now. So for this one, we're gonna have mm -hmm. two red balloons. Same thing as Spider-Man. You're gonna leave about four inches uninflated. So blow it up. And you can use this, you know, right now I'm using a filbert pump. You can use a Legenda if you have an electric pump. You can use, you know, a hand pump. You can use your mouth. I can blow them up by mouth, but it's not super fast. And if I'm teaching, uh, I would I would be like just by the end. But I can't do a lot back to back. But I, I, I can blow them up with my mouth in a pinch if my pump broke at a party. But let's just say I, I pray that that never happens. Okay, so we have two red balloons, roughly a hand's width or four inches or so uninflated. We're gonna start just like Spider-Man. I'm gonna do this one a little bit faster um, because we already covered this pretty much for the most part with the Spider-Man. So small bubble. Hold up a pinch wrist. I also want you to see, you know, what a full speed. This is kind of the speed I would be doing it at an event. Okay, there's one. Other foot. So you can get to where you take these out pretty fast. Okay, other leg, bring it together. Legs Put together, arms. I see some free lock in place. Look. Okay, so like I said, when you're going, when you're flying, you can crank these out at an event um, pretty fast. So there we got his legs, his torso. Okay, now because we're doing this one, we're going to do the same thing we would do with like Silver Surfer design. We're going to do a loop twist before we make the arm. So we take a loop. Okay, we feed it through, kind of lock it in place so it doesn't come untwisted on you. Okay, so then they'll have this, right? With one short arm, one long arm, okay? So then you're just gonna do bubble, pinch twist them just the arm, identical to how we did the fighting one, right? Bubble, pinch twist. And like you can tell, it, this, mm, I could maybe get a pinch twist out of that, but for me, that's where I find the split twist is beneficial, because a split twist, I can do that, but if I try to do another pinch twist out of this, it'll probably pop it. Okay, same thing on the other side. And that happens. See, even I pop them. But then what you do? What? Just do this. Mm -hmm. Put it on right where you left off. Take it off. And it still works. See? Can you tell the arm pop? See? There you go. So even if you make a mistake, again, they don't know. You don't have to tell them. You don't have to make a big deal. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. For all they know, you did mean to do that. Okay, so we have this. Now we're going to do, you could either use a brand new one, but I usually use a scrap because I don't like, I try and reuse my balloons as much as possible. And if I only need like a small piece of something, I don't want to use a brand new one. Right, so I'll use a scrap. So peach blush, because all you really need, this is just being one loop twist around the head, right? So you don't need a lot, okay? And I normally, um, I will say, I try to squeeze it down a little bit, but you don't want to use a 160, I've tried it. A 160 just doesn't look right. If you try to use a 160 for this loop. So all I'm doing is I'm just doing a loop twist around the head right here. Okay, and then in the back, break it off by, make it flat and apart. Again, it's not about strength. It's not about, um, you know, big muscles. 
it's not about muscle issues. It's just about doing it fast, right? The speed is the bigger issue with, with tearing it in half, okay? So, then we got a little um, flash guy there. Same thing, I'm using a scrap 160 um, here. And so, this one is for like the little um, lightning bolts on the side of his head. Or you could, if you're doing Captain America, you would do this white, right? For the little wings on the classic Captain America hat, you have like the little wings coming out. So you could do this white for that. Or if you're doing like PJ masks, for like Cat Boy or Owlet, you can use red or blue coming up. Again, it's really, what I like about this design when I came up with it is it's very versatile. It uh, can be multi-purpose. You know, you can change it up, mix it up to create anything. So all we did for this, if you just did the bubble, pinch twist, set it through, pinch twist, and a bubble, and then ripped it off. Okay? So all it does is bubble, pinch twist, bubble, pinch twist, bubble. Okay? Really easy. And then you draw the face. Okay? So it just looks like that. I draw the nose and the mouth on the blush part. Then draw the eyes on the top part. Draw his lightning bolt. Okay? So again, mm -hmm. this is my go-to design for any hero that has the half Mask, which would be your Captain America, could be Batman, Catboy, Outlet, Gecko, um, Flash. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch. So, but any superhero that um, that has a half mask, this is a good design for. It. Okay. Great. Now we get to Superman, Kal-el, Part Ten. This one. Um, some ways this is an easier design, some ways it's a harder design, it's just a bigger design. But um, I find that this one looks better um, because again, Superman's got more different colors in. So this design works really good for something like a Batman or a Black Panther or a Flash where their costume is pretty much all red or all black. Um, or it even works for something like a Spider-Man where their costume is pretty much like all red and blue, right? But for something like a Superman, I find it doesn't work as well because he's very distinctive. Like he's got the blue, the red boots. He's got the red, you know, the red underpants. He's got the, the uh, you know, blue, blue. So, I mean, he's got a lot of, Superman's a little bit more distinctive in where his colors are. So this design um, for Superman, um, but I'm actually going to make it slightly different. I'm going to make it with different colors. So I'm going to show you how this design could also be Shazam. Um, Cause that's been a popular movie lately. So again, these are not designed to be sculpture pieces. Um, if you look at my Instagram or Facebook, you'll see I have a more advanced uh, Superman and Shazam design. Um, this one is designed to be line one, okay? So that's where we're going. So we're gonna do the same design, but I am gonna do the color slightly different to show you how this could also be the superhero Shazam or in the comics known as Captain Marvel. Mm -hmm. so. With that being said for this, you'll need, if you're gonna go make it along with me, two reds. You will need a black scrap. It doesn't have to be a full one, but you'll need some black. You will need either a face balloon, whatever your favorite face is, or you, I'm gonna show you how to do it without a face too. So you can also use, just use a blush, okay? And then you'll need um, a white 160 for the cape, and you'll need a gold 260 because those are the colors for Shazam, okay? So for this one, we're gonna start by doing red. And again, it's gonna be inflated about the same as the other one. Roughly about four inches or a hand's width uninflated. Okay, so same as, same uninflated as our Spider-Man and our Flash. Same thing, about four inches or a hand's width uninflated. Now the difference here is instead of doing the feet and the pinch twist, we're just going to tie the two ends together, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to come up about two hands width, more or less, is going to be his leg, okay? And then feed one through so it doesn't come um, unraveled on you. And again, what I do is I do the top about the same as the leg. So this is the torso, maybe slightly less, but roughly the same. Uh, let's say a little, a little bit less, that's fine, okay? So it's going to be, so you have his legs, his torso, and the arms, okay? Pretty easy so far. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do, this is going to be his shoes and his belt. Okay, so we're gonna blow up our gold, or if this is Superman, we're doing the red part, okay? So, all you're gonna do is bubble. This is gonna be his feet, right? Followed by a pinch twist. 
and then you want to break it off, but save it and save it, okay? And if you had to, if you're not good at that, you can let it let all the air out and then reinflate it as well. But then you're just going to look at that because you want to see the same size, right? Because most people's feet are the same size or at least close, right? You don't want, you know, Shazam or Superman to have like a size 11 and a size 17. <laughs> okay, and then I just take that pin slip and I wedge it in at the bottom of the feet. So then you have Shazam's feet. And then this is going to be his belt to go around here. So all you're doing is a loop twist, just like what we did for the flash's face, actually. And then just see if you can get this. I'm just going to tie this in the back. Okay. So anything tricky on you? So just break this off. Okay. And then just tie it together. Okay. So you have Shazam's legs. Okay. And then for the arms, same thing we did before. You do bubble pinch twist. Bubble pinch twist, followed by a second pinch twist, or you can do a split twist. Take off the extra. Okay, one arm. Over right here, bubble pinch twist, bubble pinch twist, followed by another pinch twist. Break off the extra. Okay, and do the same thing we did before. We wedge the arm kind of down. So you can kind of see it's coming together or Shazam, or Captain Marvel. Okay, now for the hair. This is just kind of my basic uh, person hair, princess hair, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you just need a loop twist, tuck the knot through, followed by a pinch twist. Okay, followed by a bird body. So that is gonna go down, you're gonna go back up, and then you're gonna go, so you went down and back around the pinch twist, then back, twist it, okay? And then you're gonna roll this through, okay? So kind of like this, okay? Now, you'd either attach a face balloon, and for the faces, I hate having to do raisins, especially if I'm at an event where I got a long line. It takes a long time to take a balloon and shove a raisin inside of it, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like a little knotted butt balloon and then grab it and use that as an anchor point. So make sure if you do get a face balloon with a face pre-printed on it, make sure you get a quick link that has the has this at the top so you can attach it, okay? Because without that, it's a real pain. And to be honest, I don't know why they make faces without attach points, because they're kind of useless in making, unless you're making someone that's bald, right? Hmm. So, uh, but you want the, you want to make sure that if you get a face, you get a quick link. You want to make sure that's an attachment point at the top. That makes your life a lot easier. But if you don't like using printed rounds or you don't have any at the moment, you can also just use a 260 or you can even use like a blush B body or you could use even a 350 or 360. But all you're going to do is you attach it at the top with a spin switch in. Okay, bring it down, twist these two together. Okay, break it off, and I'll tie this just kind of around and tuck it in so it doesn't leak, right? And so there you have the face, break this part off. So we're gonna just kind of wrap this around the top here so it's nice and tight. Okay, and we have Captain Marvel or Shazam because they couldn't get the rights to call him Captain Marvel, even though that's his name in the comics, because Disney already had the rights to the Captain Marvel movie. Right. So we have, okay, this face. He looks like me. I'm considering it. All right. And then for Captain Marvel, he's got that giant yellow glowing lightning bolt on his chest. Even though in the comics it was white, but I digress. We'll make it yellow just like. Okay, so it kind of has this yellow lightning bolt on his chest. Right? Okay. And then the other thing is he's got a cape like Captain America, but it's what I mean, like Captain America. What am I talking about? I'm crazy. He's got a cape like Superman, but it's white. 
<laughs> instead of um, uh, what's our marker is that? Okay, yeah. Um, let me do this. So just again, two loop twists. You take the extra, tie it in. So you have a fishy, right? Then you're gonna make it less of a fish, more of a triangle. Okay, and then you just attach it in at the base of the head, um, like this. And you have your Shazam, Captain Marvel. Da -da -da -da. Okay, uh, so the markers I was using um, for the paint pens, um, Sharpie. Um, I do have some eddings. Um, me personally, I wasn't a huge fan of the eddings. For me, I found out that they were just more expensive than the Sharpie ones. And I found out that they, for me, they always dry out faster. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but for me, the eddings are more expensive than Sharpies, but don't last as long as the Sharpies. So I didn't really see the So point. use the Sharpies. Yep. Plus, the other fact is that eddings are, um, they're not as uh, easy to get your hands on. I mean, you can buy them online. You can get them at, like, um, some Marshalls have them. I mean, not Marshalls, um, Michaels. Some Michaels have them, but not every Michaels has them. Um, but you can get these at any Office Depot, at any Walmart, at any Target, at any, sometimes even CVS. So, um, for me, what I love about these is that, again, I find that they last longer, I find they're cheaper, and if I'm in a rush and I run out, I can literally stop at a CVS in between gigs and pick up more, whereas if I'm, you know, if I need more Eddings, I, I gotta hope I can find a Michaels and then hope that there are Michaels that actually carries Eddings. So, um, for me, I actually am a big fan of these, but I will say make sure you get, um, there's two kinds. There's ones with the pink label that are oil-based, and there's ones with the blue label that are water-based. The water-based ones, surprise, surprise, are really watery. So you don't want to use those. You want to make sure you use the pink label that are red label that's oil-based. But again, they have all different colors. They have, you know, the skinny ones and the fat ones. But those are ones I use for my paint pens. Um, then the last design I have that I was kind of working on at the start um, is a little bit more involved, but I figure we, you know, we'll do this one last. Um, this is my Hulk design. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, this one. Oh, is... uh, by the way, uh, Ray said um, uh, she had to go back to ready for work, but she appreciated the webinar this morning. Yeah, no problem. Um, if you guys have any comments, just please throw them in here. I'd be happy to ask Josh. Yeah, and again, Feel free at any time. If you guys have any comments or, you know, you learned something today, but then you forgot it, shoot me a message on Facebook and I can go over it with you. I'm not one of those that's like, no, I only taught it once. Shame on you. No. Jerry asked, um, uh, what marker did you use for the white marker then? Sharpie. Okay. Yep. Sharpie. There. All the Sharpies, all paint pens. And then, well, of course I have my, you know, normal Sharpies. Okay, but, so this is my Hulk design. Now again, I messed up and I made his abs a little bit. He's got one like wussy ab here, right? His abs aren't exactly the same size. So somehow I screwed that up, but you get the idea. So um, and we haven't done his legs yet. So we're gonna work on this one. This one, I, I will say of all the ones we worked on, this is the hardest one, but it's also the most impressive looking one. Um, so I don't do this all the time for like if I got a long line, but this is great for like birthday parties or restaurant work when you know you don't have necessarily kids waiting like you're just going table to table. Um, so we're gonna work on this design. Okay, so let's go. Um, uh, Harry asked, uh, does your sharpie go funny if you draw over them like blue on white for eyes? Um, yeah. Well, I mean. This is just something as a general rule that you have a problem just with, with paint pens in general, is that if you draw over the like the white, like let's say, like I'll show you, um, rather than just talk about it, we'll do it. Um, so let's say we're making a lemon. Because let's say someone wanted a lemon. Okay. And let's say I wanted to draw a face. Now, you can do a couple different things. If you're drawing a face and you could draw, for example, a blue eyes, okay? And then you can draw the black over the blue.
You can do that just fine. No problems. Doesn't hurt the black. Now, if you were to draw to reverse it and draw the blue over the black, it would mess up the blue. Now, here's where you can get. You got to be very careful. If you're taking white and drawing white on top of this to give it like spots, you have to be very careful and draw push very delicate. Because if you push too hard, what will happen is that the white will come off. You can even see as careful as I was. I don't know if you can see that, but you, like you got some of the the black on the end of the paint pen. But at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't ruin the paint pen. Um, I will say though, if you do it in reverse and you do the black over the white and you get the paint pen on the Sharpie, it will dry and it will keep the ink from coming out and it will ruin your Sharpie. So if that makes sense. So if you do the paint pen over the Sharpie, the color will come off on the paint pen, but it won't ruin the paint pen. However, if you do the reverse, and you do the Sharpie over the paint pen, the color will not only come off on the Sharpie, but it will ruin your Sharpie. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense. Harry says that's the most circular lemon he's ever seen. <laughs> okay. Um, speaking of which, if you guys want to learn how to draw faces, uh, look up Lindsay Foster's design. She has a video you can get from Lindsay. It's Lindsay Foster. Lindsay Pookie Foster. Um, she's got design on how to draw faces. It's the best uh, tutorial for faces I've seen. Um, so get it. Anyway, so let's keep going with this uh, incredible Hulk design. Um, and I think this will probably be the last one we have time for. We'll see. Yep. And uh, Jerry asked, the Sharpie, is the, is the drawing time longer about the same time as the editing marker? Um, I find that the drawing time is faster than the editing marker, personally. OK. Yeah. Again, it depends on how thick of a coat you do, but I find that the Sharpie dries um, just as quick, if not faster than the Edding. Um, I will say the one that I found is actually the best paint pen that dries the fastest and lasts the longest, um, they're just harder to get, is, is Milwaukee, who makes um, power tools. If you go to a Home Depot and get Milwaukee, they have Milwaukee paint pens. Um, they're red um, and they're designed for construction. They're designed to be paint pens that are waterproof, grease proof, sawdust proof. So if you're like using, you need a paint pen to draw on something that has oil or grease or sawdust on it, you can do it and it won't mess up your paint pen, right? So these are some heavy duty paint pens. Um, they last forever. Again, they're just, they're really expensive. And the only place I found that has them is Home Depot. So for me, even though I think that the Milwaukee paint pens are the best paint pens you can get, um, the the lack of convenience in getting them to me makes them less valuable to me than the Sharpies because the Sharpies I can just get anywhere, whereas the Milwaukee's I can only get at Home Depot. So I hope that makes the helps. So for our Hulk, we're going to need a couple different things. We're going to need, um, we're going to need a um, purple balloon for Hulk's pants, okay? Um, you're going to want to blow it up only about halfway. So you want to leave a good, you know, six or seven inches uninflated. Okay. You're not going to blow that one up a lot. Okay. So, uh, with, then you're going to do a um, green. This is going to be for his torso. You're going to want to leave about five inches uninflated. We're going to have a green for his legs. This one you're not going to use very much. So you just need like half. Okay. Um, like that. This is going to be for his feet and his legs on both sides. Okay, then we need one more. So you need three greens for this one. Like I said, this one's a little bit more involved. You do one more, and again, this one, you're going to leave about five or six inches on the side. Okay? And then the last thing you're going to need for this, you need a face. Um, please do not get the official Marvel licensed character face for the Hulk. It is terrible. I don't have any on me right now, otherwise I would show you how bad they are. But they are god -all. Uh Do not, do not, do not get those. They, they, you can't even get them by themselves. I think they come in like the Avengers pack, right? That has like Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, and um, the Hulk. But the Hulk works with like his whole floating head in the middle of a balloon. It just looks really bad. Do not use it as trash. Instead, go to Larox. Get the Juan Gonzalez. Um, he's got these, like I think they're called... Uh, green monster or mean green um, uh, balloons. But these are his way of, they're designed to be for the Hulk, but they're designed to also be okay for copyright infringement because you can't say the Hulk because 
then Disney comes after you, right? So um, they're not they don't they're not labeled as Hulk heads. They're labeled as like something else, like Green Machine or Mean Green Monster or something like that. But anyway. These heads are the best ones for the Incredible Hulk to get that. They also, what I like about these heads is I not only use these heads for the Incredible Hulk, I also use these heads if someone says they want an alien, because I think this is more animated than the typical like alien head that just has like the two slanted eyes and the one slit for the mouth. So I use these for a Hulk, I use these for aliens, and I also use these for zombies. So they have multiple uses. So. I like balloon faces that I can use for multiple things. So that's why mm -hmm. I, I love these heads. And they're five inch rounds. So you know, you get whatever you're going to be using for Hulk. If you don't have um, five inch rounds, you can also, or I mean, if you don't have the Hulk faces, you can also just use a generic five inch round. Um, they're, called, inch round. they're called green monster balloons by Juan Gonzalez, according to Harry. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can never remember the time. I just go on and I order a bunch of stuff. I can never remember the names of everything. Okay, so we're going to start. I like to start with the pants. So we'll start. We'll do a bubble. Okay, roughly about four finger width bubble. Okay, roughly about three to four inches. Okay, then you're going to do two pinch twists. This is going to be like where his knees are. Okay, because so they're going to be like short. They're not long pants, right? And then we're just going to go back and tie it around, pull the knot through. So we just have that, okay? Kind of like the face of a horse or something, or a fish. Okay, so we got that. And we're gonna do the same thing, just repeat again. Exact same thing again. Because all we're doing, we're making it short. Right, so that's one side, and then the other side, okay? Now you're gonna break this off. If you wanna save it, this is gonna be like his waist, okay? And then you want to tie it off so that it, so you find the two ends and you tie them together. Okay, so you have this. This is his, going to be his, his short. Okay. Now what we're going to do? We're going to do attach uh, his feet. Yeah. So uh, what I do? I do a loop twist, just a small one, followed by a pinch twist. Hold it over, pinch and twist. Okay, so you got like that. Okay, then we do a small bubble. It's gonna be a shin. We're gonna attach this to these two pinch twists. Okay, so just wrap it around. You want to wrap it around a couple times. Okay, I'll explain why in a minute. But you want to wrap it around a couple times. Make sure it's secured there, nice and nice and tight, right? Then you do a spacer bubble, and you attach it to the other pinch twist. Okay. Now, me personally, it's a personal thing for me. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the look of superhero designs I've seen where they leave this bubble. So we are going to pop this bubble later. Um, I have seen superhero designs and we're going to come down here to a pinch twist, followed by a loop twist. I have seen superhero designs where they either leave it attached here or they leave it attached here at the feet. And I don't like that because I don't know many superheroes that their feet are attached because you can't chase the bad guys if your feet are attached. So. I try and make my designs as awesome and as practical as possible. So I don't have my feet attached at the bottom and we're gonna break this so they won't be attached to the knees either. But for now, we're gonna keep that there, for now. I'm gonna take the green balloon we inflated the most. We're gonna make his pecs and his abs and we're gonna hook it to his legs, okay? So the way we're gonna do this, you do about a two inch bubble. Okay, this is gonna be one pec. And then we're gonna do six, like little half inch bubbles for his abs, okay? It's six pack, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then another two inch bubble for his other pack. Okay? You should have that, like a caterpillar. And you're going to attach it together at the top here. Okay? So you have like this. Okay? Then you're going to bring this down. It's going to be his back. Twist it so that it's the length of the bottom of his abs, and then you're gonna roll it through, kind of like a bird body. Okay? Then once you have that, you're gonna take these bottom two and roll those, attach it right there. At, so one, two, that's at the top of the four pack, right? You're gonna attach it right below those two. Okay? So it's twisted together there in the middle. Okay? And then what we're gonna do is 
I'll try to go on. Alexa, oh. <laughs> okay, then you take this and you're gonna feed it through. Okay, but do it quick because it looks inappropriate. Okay, and then feed it up. And then this is going to go back up because you want his back to be, you want the whole tab, you know, a wide back, right? He's got muscles. Okay, you pull it through like this. So you get this kind of look, okay? Now, if you pop this right now, these would fly out sideways and make Hulk look like he's doing the splits, right? We don't want that. Um, that's what this is for. We tie this in a loop twist right around here, okay? Right around the base, okay? Just like what we did for our Shazam and our Superman, okay? We're gonna tie this in a loop twist, tie it, break off the extra. Okay, and what this is gonna do is this is gonna kind of hold the uh, legs down so that when I break the spacer bubble, so I'm having a hard time tying that. Oh, there we go. When I break the spacer bubble, the legs don't fly out into the split. Okay, so let me explain. So if we didn't do this little doohinky right here, okay, but what happened, you pop the spacer bubble, he goes into splits. Instead, you put this, it's going to keep the legs down, pop that spacer bubble, and his legs stay like that, right? So then we have Hulk, you can see his six pack right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? He's got his pecs. Now with this one, we're going to do a bubble. He's going to be his biceps, right? So we want to make them like bigger than like, you see how Shazam, his bicep is the same size as his forearm, right? So for Hulk, Hulk's a beast. So we're going to make, go down to a pinch twist for his elbow, and then we're going to come back around there, and that's going to be, so now he's got like a big old bicep, right? And break this off, and tuck it through, okay? So we have like that. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing with the other one, except for first, we're going to do a bubble, attach that to the base here, and then you're going to attach it back, twist it around, tuck it through, okay? Followed by a pinch twist, okay? And then we're gonna do his hand. So you do his forearm, which is about a, like a three finger bubble, right? Followed by a pinch twist, and then another pinch twist. So that's one hand, right? Peace. And then you make a spacer bubble, followed by a pinch twist, and another pinch twist. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you attach, you make one more bubble, it's about, again, another form, so about a three three to four finger bubble, and attach that back to this pitch, and then you break off the extra. So it should be very um, repetitive and symmetrical, because you went out, pitch this back, right? Broke off the extra, then this one came down, started here, went out, back, pinch twist, forward, two pinch twist, spacer bubble, two pinch twist, then back and connect it to this pinch twist. So we're going to break the spacer bubble. Okay. And you're going to wedge these, just like with Superman, wedge these down in between his body, right? So you get like, that's what kind of sets your Hulk aside from the other two versions. You've got those bigger muscles, right? You've got the bigger quads too. And then you take your head, attach it up top here. Okay. And you can give it to a kid like this. You can also take your paint pen and color it in. You can take a Sharpie and give them some hair. <laughs> you know, if you don't want the Hulk to be bald. So, well, yeah. So that would be, again, a quick line work, incredible Hulk that I think still looks impressive. Um, it has the muscles that you need for Hulk. Um, like for, for me personally, I don't think it would work to do a design like this with a Hulk head because he just doesn't have the muscles, right? If you're going to do a Hulk, I feel, feel like the muscles have to be a part of the design um, for it to actually Absolutely. Work. Yeah, so, no, it has to be big, strong, so macho. those are our three, so just to recap our three designs, we had our base design that we used for like our, um, our Iron Man, our Spider-Man, which is just a series of pinch twists. 
man, this Iron Man needs a chiropractic adjustment bad. Um, <laughs> but so we have this design. Then we have the design that we use for Captain America, or for, I see even Captain America, for Superman and Shazam, where it's again, just straight legs. Um, and then comes up, straight body, come through, and then you attach a head. Okay, and then we have this design, which is a little bit more muscular design for our Hulk. Mm -hmm. So, but there's three line work superhero designs. Again, if you have any questions on any of these, do not hesitate to uh, reach out and ask me, you know, questions or recommendations. Or if there's another superhero that you're like, hey, I can't figure out how to make this particular superhero using one of these designs, um, let me know because I can guarantee you, you can make any superhero that exists with one of these three designs. Like for example, um, Benjamin Grimm, uh, otherwise known as The Thing, right? Made all of rocks. Mm -hmm. This same design, except you do blue shorts and orange for this, and you get that rocky look that you need to make mm -hmm. The Thing from Fantastic Four. So again, mm -hmm. I firmly believe that with these three designs that we just learned, you can make any superhero that exists in Marvel or DC. Awesome. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. Uh, one ca comment came in a little earlier um, about doing dump truck designs. Um, ooh. Uh, but that, that will have to wait for another day. Um, yeah, sorry, or, um, so I think I know who said it, but um, send me a private message and I will try and get that to you tonight. Okay, great. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Josh. Thanks, everybody. Um, go to clownantics.com if you want to see any of our sales or when we get, we get Josh back and for another event. Yeah. And uh, thanks a lot. Have a good evening, everybody. Yeah.